one more important concept which we are going to discuss here is the Maxwell equation different medium. Okay. <coughs> Very first, I'd like to write the standard form of Maxwell equation. First one is I'm writing it in point form, differential form. Del dot d is rho b. Del dot b is equals to zero. Del cross e is equals to minus del b by del t and del cross h is equals to just j c plus del d by del t. These two are written with the help of Gauss law and this one is the Faraday's law and this was actually the ampere circuital law okay later it has just compiled and just modified using by the maxwell a scientist del cross h is the modification of ampere's law okay this is the maxwell equation four important maxwell equation of electromagnetism mainly written in general medium okay <coughs> now we have three different types of medium i'll discuss it very first one is the medium having static field in static field these four equations can be written as what the first one will be unchanged second one will again be unchanged but this one is the differentiation of constant field will result in zero and del cross h will be equivalent to the jc okay this is the four important equation maxwell equation written in the static field medium okay <coughs> next one i'm just having source free medium in source free medium means what a medium which has no charges no currents in such kind of medium these four equations can be written as del dot d will be equivalent to zero del dot b will again be zero del cross e will be zero and del cross h will also become zero in this source free medium further classifying it into two different kind of medium first one will be the source free homogeneous medium we will see just these four equations for the source free homogeneous medium homogeneous means the isotropic medium in isotropic medium the property of the medium the primary constants of the medium the permittivity permeability and the conductivity of the medium are independent are independent from the direction from the direction vector or the positional vector so in this case these four equations are same del dot d is equals to 0 del dot d is equals to 0 del cross e is equals to 0 and del cross h is also equivalent to 0 okay and we know very well d is written as epsilon e so for homogeneous medium for homogeneous or isotropic medium mu epsilon and conductivity are independent from the direction vector directional vector or positional vector so del dot e will also become zero del dot h will also become zero del cross d will also become zero and finally we will have del cross b equals to zero but the these four equations will be changed 
when we will be talking about the inhomogeneous or anisotropic source free medium so the another case of source free medium i am just considering is the second one inhomogeneous medium inhomogeneous medium or an isotropic medium okay in this case what happens with these primary constant epsilon mu and sigma these are now direction dependent whenever you will just change the direction of measurement of in magnetic field these values will also be different in different direction okay in case of an isotropic medium now we have considered it under source free medium so these four equations will be same again so we can write it del dot d is equals to 0 del dot b is equals to 0 del cross e is equals to 0 del cross h is equals to 0 but now since it will not be equivalent to d is d will not be equivalent to simply epsilon e because now the epsilon will be direction dependent okay it will be varying according to the direction of measurement so we cannot write these for del dot e as zero it will be non equivalent to the zero del dot h will again be not equivalent to zero del cross d will not equivalent to zero and finally del cross h is your del cross b will also not equivalent to zero these different mediums are very important for us and the questions are being asked one more question directly from these different mediums of the for the maxwell's equation okay so these discussions are very important mainly it became important here because it it uses the concept of an isotropic medium means the primary constant of the medium permittivity permeability and the conductivity of the medium is varying with the direction of measurement okay thank you so much